Hello, it is Thursday, November 2nd, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Thursday crossword, which means we are going to be solving what might be a slightly tricky crossword with an interesting or intricate theme. So i um, always curious to know what we've got going on in the Thursday. Let's find out. This tricky themed edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Mitchell Turek, William, Camtron, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster and the in. Uh, incredible horror family. Sorry, stumbled over my words there for a moment. But those five are, of course, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. They are supporting this channel. I'm very grateful to them for that. Thanks to those five. Thank you to everybody who is a patron of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. And if you'd like to consider supporting the channel in that manner, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video where you can find the bonus videos available to patrons, as well as, of course, the uh, exclusive Daily Solve mug for benefactors. Thank you, as always, to everybody who does support the channel. I really do appreciate it. And um, thanks as well if you subscribe to the channel on YouTube, if you've liked any of these videos or commented. Those things all help in some manner, so thank you to everybody who's done that. And finally, there is the Daily Solve Discord chat server, which you can join via a description field link as well. It's a nice, friendly chat community. Community. Um, all right, so let's get on with the puzzle. This is a co-construction by Chase Dittrich and Christina Iverson. Chase Dittrich, I think around 10 puzzles, and Christina Iverson around two dozen puzzles for the New York Times. So uh, relatively experienced constructors here, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving and see what sort of Thursday shenanigans we've got in store for us today. Jack, but not Jill. I'm not sure. I mean, this could be a punny way of referring to Jack the, the tool or maybe the card. Maybe it's a, yeah, actually I kind of like card. Let's try it and see if that works. Some recyclables, cans can be recycled generally. Blank shirt, colorful attire. Yes, a Hawaiian shirt or an Aloha shirt. Uh, rushed through the door, ran in. And valuable resource for the human genome project. DNA something? Here we have non-Muppet owner of Hooper's store on Sesame Street. Well, this I certainly wouldn't have remembered, so I'm glad I got it with the crosses. Looks like Alan, Alan Hooper, I suppose. And then, right, okay, this will be thematic, presumably. Beg your pardon. Uh, so there's, there's obviously a missing N. What does that mean in the context of this answer? No... It's either no something or non something. I'm not sure, actually. Here we have a, a Shiba Inu, a Japanese dog breed. Uh, so DNA, oh, DNA Bank may be the valuable resource for the Human Genome Project. That would make sense. Let's see if I can justify that. Something that's not digital, it's analog, such as a you know, clock, for instance. And El Blanc Alto, California redwood that's more than 1,000 years old. Right, okay. Well, Palo Alto is the name of a city in California. I don't know if that's actually the name of this tree as well. What about this? All right, here's another one of these. Badly dilapidated, we're missing the T. I'm guessing this will also start with no or non or something. Let's see. No, non apparent? I don't know why that it doesn't fit anyway. Non I don't know. I'm not I'm not seeing this theme. We'll have to keep going. Steamed bun in Chinese cuisine. That would be a bao, bao bun. I guess you wouldn't really say bao bun per se, but uh, what a freezer can do paradoxically is uh, I'm not sure. Something underlined in many bibliographies. A URL? If you're looking at a bibliography online, it might have a link to the source. I'm not sure. Total hoot, something could be a riot if it's a total hoot. I'm not sure if that necessarily is the answer, but it could be. What a freezer can do paradoxically. Oh, burn, freezer burn, right, is a, is a sort of phenomenon that can, that can occur uh, to food in the freezer. So Japanese Olympics city, I think Nagoya. And common default font, right, often in Windows contexts, Arial is a default typeface. So there we go. I think this is then URL. Uh, a link to the, you know, source being cited in the bibliography. Ah, non-apology. 
Oh, I see. It's a no N apology. Oh, very clever. Okay, I see. Right. No N apology, non-apology. Very good. So non-apology, of course, is a phrase unto itself, and then we're, we're creating a punny phrase out of it. U-shaped instruments could be liars, often associated with the, the classical world. And smear, uh, classical world, I guess when I say that, I mean in the sense of sort of ancient Greece as opposed to, um, you know, classical music. Um, smear, tor, that doesn't look right. Maybe this... Cool beans. Is this wrong? Maybe this is wrong. Oh, Nagano. Nagano, Japan, Olympic City. There we go. Well, yeah, okay. That that's what I was that's what I was trying to think of, I suppose. Um, I just had that wrong. So to smear someone could be to tar them, as in other words, to sort of speak ill of them, for instance. And cool beans could be neato. Um so badly dilapidated. So it's a no T, so not. Um Badly dilapidated. Oh, I'm not sure. I can't quite see it. I apologize. Classic Pontiacs. So uh, Pontiac GTO would be a classic model of car. And then palindromic man's name. Well, it's always helpful in a palindromic uh, clue when we've got half of the answer already, because now we can just reverse the first half and get the whole thing, which is auto, because a palindrome, of course, is spelled the same way in either direction. Measurement that can be short or long. Short top, short toe, short. Oh, a short ton or a long ton. That is, a, that is. I don't know exactly how those are defined, but I do know that there is such a thing as a short ton or a long ton in measure in weight, I suppose. So there we go. Standing upright on end. Something standing on end, it's standing upright. I think that's right. So here we have not too shabby, right? Okay, so is that right? That sounds right. No T, too shabby, right? Okay, because something being badly dilapidated would be too shabby. So this is a no T, too shabby. This is good. I've never seen this idea before. Okay, literary character, at least I don't remember such. Literary character who cries, talk not to me of blasphemy, man. I'd strike the sun if it insulted me. That would be Captain Ahab, of course, of uh, Melville's Moby Dick. Who's he, you know, Ahab who seeks the white whale, revenge. Ancient marketplace would be an agora, speaking of the classical world. And a bargain indicator would be a sale tag, maybe, on a piece of merchandise. Pet safety organization, probably the SPCA, the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. And then to ruin a picture of a way would be to, oh, photobomb it, right, to sort of insert yourself into somebody else's posed picture. John of wrestling fame. Um, I know a little about wrestling, but at least I've heard of John Cena. There we go. Who is also, I think, also in films these days. Maybe. Am I not 100% certain I'm thinking of the right person? Uh, do you mind? Ahem, somebody could say. Do you mind? And sort of clear their throat. Uh, Hawkeye State College Town, Ames, Ames, is it, oh, is it Ames, Iowa, I think? There's an amazing video of uh, some faculty members from, um, from I, I presume, this university uh, advertising the town of Ames, and it's quite extraordinary if you've never seen it. Uh, like some wolf, some wolves are, you know, said to be lone wolves. That's certainly a cliche, uh, the lone wolf used to refer to people as well. Features of many on-my-way texts could be ETAs, estimated times of arrival. All right, we'll move on. Red Explorer, Eric the Red, famous uh, um, sort of, uh, I don't know, honorific, I guess. That's not the right word. Pulitzer winning author Jennifer Jennifer Egan, who's the um, novelist who wrote, uh, what, A Visit from the Goon Squad, for instance. And uh, Citrine, for one, is... I'm not sure what we're looking for here. What about this? Seized car for short could be a repo, a repossession. And, uh, oh, is it a gem? Is that, that must be a gem. And then let's see what you've got. I'm waiting? Maybe. Not sure. This looks a bit odd, though. Fruit eaten on the Jewish New Year. This doesn't look very, very likely, does it? Apple, presumably, with that AP. So what is this? Let's see what you've got. I'm, 
Uh, I don't know. For some reason, I, I can't infer that. Let's keep going. Psychedelic journey. This could be an LSD trip, I would think. And then uh, more than I want could be a need. This looks like another theme clue. Yes, it is. So here we have secretary missing the S and C. So knows something, no S E job. Oh, no, right, okay. So a nose job is a bit of, um, it generally refers to uh, plastic surgery operation, but here we have the no S E job because a secretary is an example of a job, a profession. There we go. Actress Pinkett Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith. There we go. Word after blow or bowl, uh, bl um, something could blow over or you could bowl someone over, amaze them. So there we go. A GPS is an example of a nav system, a navigational system. And I think it's probably the case here that GPS being abbreviated also points to nav being contracted as opposed to navigation. Um, it's just a it, just the way that the clue is written is a bit of a tip of the hat in that regard. Former Russian orbiter, uh, Mir, the space, space station, um, uh, as I'm, I'm fairly certain what this is referring to. And then uh, cream cheese is, uh, oh, no, no, it's not cream cheese, sorry, it's creamy cheese. Uh, so here we have brie, a creamy French cheese, a soft cheese. And then a place for a swing set could be the yard where you might have uh, uh, such things. Uh, not up. If you're not up, you're a bed. Maybe you're in bed. You're a bed. You're lying down. To the extent that something happens could be as far as it occurs. So to the extent that, uh, you know, we need to solve this crossword as far as we need to solve this crossword, we'll be, uh, answering all these clues. That was a horrible example, but you get the idea. Blank phone, P E something phone. Sorry, I think that was the doorbell. I need to run and get that. All right, I'm back. Let's see, where was I? Um, so what actually is this? Let's see. No three letters, phone. Um, I'm actually, yeah, I can't quite see what this is. You'd think I'd be able to, but I can't see it. What about this one? Two early Icelandic literary works. The Eddas, those are... Um, sort of Icelandic sagas. So let's see what you've got. I'm prepared, doesn't fit. I'm, <laughs> these two, I feel like I should be able to get them, but I just can't quite see them yet. Investment goals, maybe gains. You want, you want to see investment gains. And, um, oh, noise. No. Norse god, oh, Norse goddess. That's, that's what it'll be. So no RCE, no RSE goddess. Oh, 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 it's Persephone. Persephone. So, right, okay, I see. Because it doesn't, Persephone is not a Norse goddess, but it, she doesn't need to be. She's the no RSE goddess in this clue. And then the Norse goddess is separately the phrase we're using to make that right. Okay, I think I confused myself by thinking the whole thing needed to refer to the answer. Uh, but it doesn't. Well, just the it just just in the punny construction. All right, like a certain dodger, the artful dodger, right? So there's a Charles Charles Dickens reference. Uh, resign with down could be to step down from a position. There we go. To really bother you could be to eat at you, and something functional could be utile, so useful, functional. Kicks back. If you kicks back, you kick back. Maybe you lays. So lazes kicks back. I think is probably the answer. This looks like prize. Um, but but let's finish this off first. Meta field. Uh, this I think is referring to Meta, the the current name of the holding company that we used to call Facebook. So uh, their field is tech technology. And then baseballs marsh or bohm. I don't recognize either of these, unfortunately, but. I don't need to because the answer is already in the grid. So Alec Marsh or Alec Bohm, I think, would be baseball players. Here we have gathering casually would be a sesh, a session, a gathering of people of some sort. Um, punch ingredient. Um, not sure. A skit, maybe? Uh, as I see it to a texter could be IMO, in my opinion. A uh, member of a 1970s singing family, right? So the Osmond family from Donny Osmond, I guess, is the best known. Actually, probably the only one I could name. 
And then thin woodwind could be an oboe. So a woodwind instrument. This looks like Nobel Prize championship. Yes, championship belt. And so it's a no BEL prize, a Nobel prize. Um, because the BEL would make a belt and championship belt. Uh, elitist sort could be, I was going to say snobs, but that would be sorts. Elitist sort. A snoot, maybe? Low-ranking USMC officers. Low-ranking U.S. Marine Corps officers. Lieutenants, I suppose. And then cozy places could be dens, right? Okay, so you could uh, be in a cozy den. Many lifetimes would be an eon, a very long stretch of time. Punch ingredient, right, still not sure yet about that. So group that launched 41 across. Uh, the USSR, presumably, is what we're looking for here. I Unless we're looking for the abbreviation of an actual space agency, which I don't know off the top of my head. But let's try this and see. Let's see what you've got. Oh, impress me, right, okay. So this wasn't I'm anything, which is what I assumed it was going to be, and that's, that's what threw me off. Here we have a quarter follower. So quarter finals, for instance, could be followed by the semifinals in a tournament. And to creep through cracks could be for liquid, for instance, to seep through. Um, to do a whole to-do could be a fuss. And if you say, well, that clears it up, you could equally say, oh, I see, I get it now. And then, oh, punch ingredient is a fist. I see, okay, so a fist is one of the elements of a punch. The other ingredient, I guess, being the motion. And there we have it. So I think as far as Thursday puzzles go, that one wasn't too tricky. So maybe slightly gentle compared to the average Thursday, but let me know if you agree in the uh, the comments or the Daily Solve Discord chat server. I'm always curious. But first, let's review our theme. So this was a very clever theme. I don't remember having, having seen this before. We have removed anywhere from, I think, what, one to three maybe letters from these uh, various clues, and uh, we've constructed a punny reference to them in the answer using an existing phrase. So the non-apology becomes a uh, no N apology and beg your pardon. Not too shabby becomes a no T too shabby, which is badly dilapidated. A nose job becomes a no SE job in secretary. Uh, Norse goddess becomes a no RSE goddess in Persephone. And I think the last one is championship belt becomes a uh, well, Nobel Prize, I should say, becomes a no BEL prize in championship belt. And there we go. And I think also these are in order of length of of missing segments. So we have one letter missing here, two letters missing here, and then three letters missing here. So there we go. And they're sort of symmetrical in the sense that the two missing more letters are symmetrical with the two missing only a single letter. And then the one in the middle is in the middle. So very nice. I've, I'm, I always enjoy those extra bits of uh, conscientious symmetrical construction. So well done to our two, uh, two setters today. And that is that for the Thursday puzzle. So I will quickly review. Um, I will look at a few clues, sorry, um, responses to yesterday's video dealing with some clues from yesterday's puzzle, because I know I haven't done that for a few days. So let's get back to it. Um, telegnostic explains, yes, Wonder Woman's tiara is a weapon because she sometimes takes it off and bonks people with it. There we go. Uh, now I know. Uh, regarding the phrase, wild horses couldn't drag a tamer away, um, Instant Fizz explains, well, wild horses couldn't drag a tamer away because assuming the tamer has done their job properly, the horse would be tamed, no longer wild, and no longer prone to dragging away. So fair enough. As simple as that. And then uh, a couple of people commented on this. So as usual, I, I, I will read the first person's. Xander Watt explains, Brandon Tina, um, whose name I didn't recognize, was the subject of the movie Boys Don't Cry, played by Hilary Swank. And then uh, Stacy Springer adds, Brandon, some context, Brandon Tina was a transgender man from Nebraska whose life and murder was covered in the eponymous, uh, eponymous documentary mentioned, mentioned in the clue and dramatized in the movie Boys Don't Cry. So that was the... Um, 1999 film uh, mentioned by Xander Watt and a uh, character depicted by Hilary Swank. So that, that's very interesting. I remember that movie vaguely, but um, at the time, I think I was of an age where I wasn't probably in the sort of target market for, I think, more serious films. So I just never 
Uh, I missed it and never saw it, but I was reading about it just before recording the video, and it does seem like a really worthwhile movie, so I'll have to check it out. All right, well, there we go. That was the Thursday crossword um, by Chase Dittrich and Christina Iverson. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will be back tomorrow for the Friday crossword, a themeless puzzle, so no, none of this Thursday nonsense, just straightforward clue solving. So do join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Thursday. Take care. Mm -hmm.